Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to Scott Parazinski at the Fluidity booth. How are you doing, Scott? Doing great. Great to be with you. Thank you so much. Now you're holding in your hand here an already much awarded gizmo for the drone community. This thing's pretty cool. Why don't you tell me about it? Oh, we're so excited to release it here at CES. It's an ability to so intuitively and precisely fly a drone. Instead of flying like a gamer, you're going to fly like a pilot. We control the velocity vector of your drone with the single hand. So your dominant hand controls the joystick part of it, and you control the forward, aft, left, right, the yaw, and then we can control the up and down for the throttle with our index finger and thumb in counterbalance. And so after a while, your thumb tip basically becomes the virtual nose of your drone. It almost becomes subconscious, and it just it brings out the joy of flight for me, you know, because you're, you're zipping around like uh, Luke Skywalker on the Death Star, but, uh, but you're getting really precise uh, pointing of, of your drone asset, and then in your non-dominant hand, we have really cool ways to control the uh, the camera assets. We have a, a special lever here that actually allows us to tilt down or tilt up the camera axis. And we have a rotary dial here that you can depress and then rotate to, say, shutter speed, exposure compensation, the responsiveness of the tilt axis. So you can do this on the fly as opposed to diving multiple layers deep in an app, which takes you away from the flying. And then, of course, you can take a photograph, a shoot video with buttons here on the side. We have a programmable button as well for landing gear, toggle other special features as you'd like. And then finally, you can also adjust the speed of the drone on the fly. So we have five settings here that allow us to go super slow-mo, put the drone in jello and get that perfect smooth shot. Or if you're in a hurry, you want to get out to your work site, you, you set it up on five and you'll zoom out there. We have a situational awareness display here. I don't know about you, but occasionally it gets half a mile away or something and you kind of lose sight of it or you lose sense of the relative yaw and you need to get away safely from the target. And instead of hitting the panic return to home button, you can actually straighten it out and then pull the drone back home. And then finally, uh, we have a quarter 20 on the bottom, standard fitting for a tripod. So if, you, if you'd like, uh, you can actually plop it on a tripod. That seems like an intuitive way for me to fly with a single joystick, coming from a manned aviation background myself. It has its roots in aviation. And then how long is this thing? It runs on an internal battery? Correct. It has five hours of uh, battery life, and in fact, you can actually fly it on a brick if, if you had a really heavy flying day. If you're flying more than five hours of drones in a day, that's a, that's a lot of flying, but you could actually fly it on a brick. And then I see on the side here, you've got a holder for your smart device? That's correct. Either iOS or Android. So how does this actually going to work with drones? Does this replace your controller? How Does it have a radio transmitter? This particular unit, our first product, actually pairs with the DJI radio. So we are integrating with the DJI SDK. So if you're flying a Mavic Pro, an Inspire 2, a Matrice 600, whatever it is, we will actually use our app to control the drone and then we'll use their radio to communicate with the drone asset. In the future, we hope to integrate the radio and obviate the need for a secondary radio. Obviously, DJI, the biggest name in um, you know, light commercial drones. Any plans to support other manufacturers? Huge plans, and we've been in discussion with all the major makes and models here. But we're also really excited to integrate more fully with DJI in the future and maybe uh, with Epson Maverio. For me, the dream of really having a sense of being on board the aircraft is to have you know, a line of sight to your aircraft and to be able to have the data stream and then also the tactile feedback. We have a spring gimbal system in here, so you know when you're inputting a command and when you're not. So, you know, it's kind of virtually being on board your, your aircraft. Scott is letting me try this thing on the simulator. So, let me see, okay, and we go with the... Oh, whoa. I can tell it's going to take a little getting used to, but I've been flying with two sticks for a long time now. You guys are literally watching as I try this thing for the very first time. And I have to say, I was a little worried that this being such a different interface from, you know, what I'm accustomed to, that it was going to be, there's going to be more of a learning curve. But I think it's, uh, I think it's succeeding in doing what you want it to. I mean, like getting the nuance on the throttle, I can tell is going to take a little getting used to, but I, I think it's a success. Okay, Scott, so the thing that everybody wants to know when they see something cool like this is what's it going to cost and when's it going to be available? Special price for you, my friend. Uh, <laughs> uh, two ninety nine here at CES and actually up until we start shipping, which will be uh, within the next few weeks. Uh, we'll be shipping it here in the first quarter of this year, uh, whereupon it'll uh, retail for four forty nine. 
And where should people go to get one? Fluidity.tech, uh, and then we'll be working uh, perhaps with Amazon and other distributors uh, in the near future. Okay, one more thing before we go, guys, here. I'm going to have to tell you a little bit about Scott, because he's a humble guy, I suspect. He's not going to share this himself, but Scott's a medical doctor. He's an astronaut who's flown in space five times, and he's summited Mount Everest. <laughs> Now, as it happens, this has never come up before, but we do have a rule at the Roswell Flight Test Crew, whenever we interview somebody who met those criteria, they automatically get the Roswell Flight Test Crew patch. Right. So, there you go, right Scott. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much. You're, you. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Okay, so from CES 2019 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew, signing off.